Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and we're going to talk a little bit more about Peacemaker, and we will be going into some spoiler territory for the final episode, so I want to warn you well ahead of time and tell you to click away now, but it's not the main focus of our video. The main focus of our video is, unfortunately, again, the Snyder fandom. Now, this fandom has come a long way. They did a bunch of stuff in order to get the movie released, seeing at that point or thinking at that point that it would be the completion of the trilogy and they would be happy, but we should have known better, right? We should have known better because in the final episode of James Gunn Peacemaker, we actually got a cameo of last morning click away the justice league now it wasn't the entire justice league of course and that's a problem because everybody has it out for um the snyder fandom apparently and this is actually extremely disappointing this is the most watched show one of the most watched shows on tv right now it is phenomenal it is getting rave reviews unless you are a Snyder fan then you're a little salty it seems like that this is getting so well reviewed and a lot of people are loving it now of course you know probably by this point what type of humor James Gunn has if that's not your thing I get it but to say that this show is bad compared to Snyder stuff is far removed in my opinion um i actually got a comment earlier it was really good it was saying you know he made the justice league more entertaining in that 30 seconds than in four hours of film of which i would tend to agree the snyder films for me as most of you may know were lackluster and bullring and full of way too much slow-mo and it just it was a mess right the characters were so far removed from their comic comic book counterparts that it wasn't for me i reviewed it i said my piece and i moved on but the snyder fans cannot and in an instance um with this i don't necessarily know that all of them are dc comics fans or if they're snyder fans i do think there's a good mix but what we're seeing now is just article after article article after article of these people that are so absolutely toxic um really really beating it over the head with um the ray fisher stuff right um it's really sad when you think that because cyborg wasn't in it it's racism right uh, but you know don't include the fact that Batman wasn't there either. And don't also include the fact that Ray Fisher quit, right? He did this to himself, yet apparently is absolved of all agency. But I am not kidding. Article after article about these people. And I have seen some terrible hissy fits so far today. And I am not quite sure what is going on with the world. Like, this show, I have not been more excited for a show. I have not liked a superhero show more. And, and that's, that's a high bar to set, right? The Boys was phenomenal. This beats that. Umbrella Academy, phenomenal. This beats that. Peacemaker, in my opinion, is the best superhero show to date. I loved every single minute of it. But it's still not good enough. Enough is never enough for these people. And so we've got more, right? More complaining. WB wouldn't even put a silhouette for Ray Borg. Well, yeah, he quit. Of course they wouldn't. Of course they wouldn't. He did this to himself. It is his own fault. It's fairly obvious they're going to completely erase both the DCEU characters and the JL member and the Flash. Right. Okay. Okay. They'd rather do that than apologize and admit they had racist on the payroll. Lord have mercy. What are you for? Like, honestly, this makes zero sense. The man quit. I'll say it one more time in case you waltz. You don't understand. 
he quit the job. He said he would no longer work with Amada. Amada is not going anywhere. He quit. And then it's just one after the other. So Cyborg doesn't even get a silhouette. Nope. They, we can't use Jon Stewart because of a show that is never, it's actually being uh, shot, but okay. And we cut Martian Man on her um, out as well. Hmm, makes you think they're going for the racial aspect, right? Okay. They're going to bring in fake soups and Wonder Woman. Why not do the same for Batman and Cyborg? Well, because it's a very, very easy question to answer. Very, very easy. Batman's movie is coming out in a few weeks. They are holding the embargo on that. Cyborg, the actor, completely demeaned the company with multiple accusations and lies and and absolutely quit the job. It is such an easy question to answer, right? Um, Gunn literally said there, the reason Cyborg and Batman weren't there that he didn't think he would be allowed to get into. Yeah, y'all forgot the studio and Ray Fisher when you want to trash directors. Yeah, they're also attacking James Gunn um, because, of course, like, and again, I, I'm categorizing everyone. And of course, if you're not one of these people that are trashing people and you're a Snyder fan, that's fucking awesome. I, I like all two of you, but. Fuck James Gunn. What a shit this is. If I see him, I'll punch him in the face until he is unrecognizable. All right. Um, that's if you're that close to a situation where you would resort to violence, this has now become your identity and you need to step away and step away for quite some time. Get a couple other hobbies to add on to that because you are way too close. Way too close to a situation. If you are willing to physically assault someone, commit a crime, like over superheroes who are exactly opposite of that, they would not. I, okay. James Gunn is just a director. He has no power in the world of studio executive. His hands are tied by what the studio does or does not want. While he has been given ample creative freedom, he still has to get approval of everything. So Cyborg and Batman absence aren't his fault. Ha! Huh. Somebody with two brain cells, at least. And that's that. That's surprising, right? Now y'all know damn well WB wouldn't allow you. Yes. So you've got actually people standing up for it. But it, it's gotten to be such... Um, an issue that people are upset about the Henry Cavill thing too, right? It's not just, it's not just cyborg. Well, for one, it does look like, um, Henry Cavill is either a too expensive for that part. They had to shoot the parts as far as Aquaman and Ezra Miller separately. They shot Aquaman's at the end of his filming for his movie. Flashes had already wrapped. So they brought him on a Marvel set, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and they were to shoot it that way. I do not believe that Henry Cavill is returning. He has said he would like to, but he also is asking for more than they are willing to pay him. And I think that's probably why we've got Sasha Kali coming in as Superwoman or Supergirl, depending on which direction, direction they go. So it doesn't look like there's a, probably a chance for him to come back, right? It just doesn't seem that way. And it sucks. And I liked Henry Cavill. I don't think, I think he was good for the role. The, it wasn't his fault that the writing was terrible. But he did the best with what he could. I would like to see him return and actually get a shot to play the character as the actual character instead of a mockery. But I don't think that's going to happen. I'm glad my timeline is just as angry as I am about the Justice League disrespect. And the continued... Um, Cyborg and Ray Fisher erasure because I am seeing it at this point. I hope WB crashes and burns in every way possible. This is the biggest downgrade I've ever seen. Let me know how that boycott works out for you. Because Peacemaker is doing just fine without you. And clearly a lot of these people watched it. Like, they had to have hate watched it. I, I That's not the thing you want to do. It's really not because... When you see, when you, when you hate watch it, you're still giving it, you're still giving it views. You're still giving it money. Like, I don't know why you do that, but I, I guess I have been, um, very, 
I have been very um, victim to that myself. I have hate watched quite a few things. Um, it's not enough to fire Snyder. They also have to destroy his characters. For one, they're not his characters. They are not his characters. They are not his characters. He did not create a single one of those characters. Um, James Gunn, go back to Marvel and take your humor for six-year-olds and your fanboys with you. I would actually love to see at this point, with the work we've seen done from James Gunn, I would love to see him as the Ke Kevin Feige for DC. He has done more good, in my opinion, with the Suicide Squad and Peacemaker than Zack Snyder ever did. I know that's a bold statement, but it's a true one also. It, this show is beloved. Um, Suicide Squad didn't do so well. That's unfortunate, even though all the reviews were pretty decent. The, the money wasn't there. But he's clearly doing well enough to get another spinoff. I would like him to see as the figurehead. But then again, I don't think he wants that role. Uh, they did it again. They added a Superman cameo without an actor. And they don't have the money for it. Yeah, that's, it probably has a lot to do with it, right? They made a silhouette. Yeah, this is the, or I already showed you that one. The fall of DCEU without Snyder has been so, so steep. Went from epic to trash. Um, huh. I, I would just be curious because I already know the answer. Um, yeah. Uh, Peacemaker did much better on HBO Max than, than the Justice League did. Not trying to be a dick, but don't throw, don't throw stones at glass houses, right? Um, if you... If you consider that epic, great. Good for you. I like this. There's no reason that both couldn't exist except for Ray Fisher. You know, he put the nail in his own coffin. That can't exist. And they don't want anything to do with Snyder anymore. They haven't for some time. So wild to see how, uh, how much better Peacemaker is than every single other recent. Yes, it is. I, I am excited for um, Moon Knight. But I would say, other than that, I haven't seen anything really this good in a very long time. This kind of just tells the drama of it all. They're mad about funny gags, and oh my god, it's so offensive. He said dick and pussy. Uh, okay. All right. I don't get it. I don't get it. The entitlement is unreal. The entitlement I have seen people screaming at their camera is... It is disappointing and it's unreal. You don't, you are not entitled to anything. If you like a show, you support it. Support what you love. But don't expect a whole franchise that has been around for 80 years to all of a sudden start catering to you because you said so. Do you realize how ridiculous that is? That is unfathomable anyways let me know of course what you guys think about this and i will see you in the next one Bye bye